How's it going? How are you? Hi. Hey, aloha. Aloha. We are finally, finally able to connect. I am so excited to have with us here at NextGen, Talitha Kuhn, Poi Ali E. Hunkin, aka Princess. Uh, she is one of our feature athletes for the week on Next Gen TV. How's it going today? It's going good. Great, great, great. Now, Princess, this is a very, very, very special interview because you are our first athlete that we are interviewing outside of the state of Ohio. And you're not just outside the state of Ohio. You are off the mainland. You are from Hawaii. <laughs> Hey, you're from Hawaii. So uh, tell us first, what part of Hawaii are you from? And then why don't you give us a little bit about uh, what's it like there? Um, I live on, I live in Waipahu and that's the leeward side of Hawaii. And it's, um, it's very sunny over here and you know everyone, and it's like a nice ohana over here. All right. Very, very good. Now that sounds like a beautiful place. I wish I could go there, get a little vacation. And you are currently in the sixth grade, correct? Yes. Playing a lot of basketball. If I'm not mistaken, uh, you play on a co-ed team uh, and then you also play with a girls team. So tell me about your teams. Uh, and is that a sixth grade team or are you like playing up with uh, older kids? Um, so for the co-ed team, I play both six and intermediate. And for the girls team, I also play intermediate. Oh, oh great. Is that is that like sixth grade that? Uh, oh, I play seventh, eighth, and varsity. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's awesome. So you're playing with kids a lot older than you some in some cases. Now, how tall are you exactly? Because when I was watching some of the film, you look pretty tall. How tall are you? I'm 5'7". Five, seven. Oh, 5'7". Okay, okay. So we're expecting you're going to get a little bit more height on you. That's awesome. You play well. Now, uh, your initials, I was watching you. One thing I like to do, uh, I like to give some of our athletes like nicknames a little bit, nicknames. Uh, because I was looking at your film and how you kind of play a little bit. And I noticed your initials is TKP, but also Hunkin. But it's not because of your name that I call you TKP. I call you TKP because you're the knockout punch, man. I, I mean, your game, you you play inside, you play outside. And sometimes when, when I watch certain athletes playing against you, they just look defeated. Like they look defeated because of your skill set. Now, when I look at how you play, uh, who inspires you, uh, you know, when it comes to your game? You have this growing greatness. Uh, and then also tell me a little bit about basketball in Hawaii. Um, the person that really inspires me is no one else but Candace Parker for the Chicago Sky. Okay. I take my game off of her and try to learn it. And basketball here in Hawaii is really fun because, like, our trainings are not, like, no offense, but to the mainland people because <laughs> <laughs> they, they take it more seriously over here. And it's like they make the workouts more fun and challenging to get better for each game and practices and workouts and all that. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I can definitely see a lot of Candace Parker uh, in your game. How's the season's been going? Uh, what's the name of your team, too? I meant to ask you that. Um, the seasons are going great. And the team that I play for is Team Dream. That's the co-ed team. And for the girls team, I play for Elite Artistry. Okay, Elite Artistry. And then Team Dream. Team dream, team dream. And if I'm not mistaken, you had uh, a hoopathon today. Why are you guys, why did your team have a hoopathon? Uh, we had a hoopathon to um, raise money for a trip to California okay. next month. So, yeah. Awesome. So, what we would try to do is we try to make sure that uh, we maybe link. Uh, the Instagram or some information for your team. Uh, the fans out there want to try to support and help them when it comes to helping them raise money for the tournament. We love to see her play on the mainland and the rest of the kids play on the mainland in California this summer, for sure. That'd be awesome. Well, that's great. That's great. It's, it, it was really good connecting with you. Uh, it was nice you know, talking with you uh, when it comes to how your season's going and also talking to you about who inspires you. Um, also your parents, I'm sure they're a big inspiration for you as well. Yep. 
That's awesome. That's awesome. And then one other kind of a random question, uh, but I know that, you know, you're more than just an athlete. You're obviously in school too, and uh, you love school. Is there something in particular in school that you really enjoy outside of basketball? Like maybe a subject or something that you do outside of basketball? Um, I like doing student council work. Very good. So not only are you a basketball player, but you also are involved with student government, leadership, uh, and that makes sense. It just translates from one to the other. That's, that's really good to hear. Well, thank you so much for spending time with us and talking with us a little bit about basketball in Hawaii, and then also a little bit about you and how your season's going. Uh, but this is not the end of the interview. Uh, we do something called the Next Gen 10, uh, which is kind of like some rapid fire questions. Uh, so don't think too much about them. Just tell me the first thing that comes to your mind and then just share with us uh, your answers when it comes to our Next Gen 10. So you ready for the Next Gen 10? Yes, I am. All right, awesome. So Princess, first question. Before a game or a workout, what's one musical artist that you have to listen to to get yourself fired up for the game? I gotta listen to Lecrae, man. Oh, nice, nice, right, right. Get you pumped and some spirituality in it too, that's cool. All right, question number two. If you could have any shoe to wear in a game, any shoe of all time, what would be your favorite in-game grail shoe? I got to go with the Mamba, man. I got to go with Kobe's. Okay, okay. I, I could see you in those Mamba Citas. I, I, if you could get them, boy, let's get her a pair of Mamba Citas because she re really embodies both of them in one for sure. Number three, what's your favorite pre or post game meal? <sighs> okay, so before the game, I don't like to eat a lot. I'll just drink water or my IV. But after the game, I'm just going to grind on the food that my parents give me. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. go to Popeyes. Yeah, I'm gonna eat all of that. <laughs> no, Popeyes all the way. Popeyes all the way. Pop, you know what? Why I tried to stereotype you and think that you want something more native Hawaiian food. You're like, nope, I want some Popeyes chicken. Give me a biscuit <laughs> and a two piece for sure. <laughs> Okay, awesome, that's cool. Now, question number four, this is an unusual one for most of our fans. Uh, teach me something cool to say in a native Hawaiian language and tell me what it means. Okay, I've, okay so I'm not native Hawaiian. Okay. I'm actually Samoan. Okay, so, so okay. one thing that we like to say, I think you overheard it with my family. We like to say chihu. I was saying it. Chihu! Okay, now what does that mean? <laughs> um so it's like for excitement and enjoyment during whatever's happening and we like to say it a lot during family gatherings or anything special with the kids or with the family so that's why we like to say it a lot could you say it on the court too yes okay i can, I can hear my family <laughs> <laughs> oh awesome awesome i'm gonna use that i'm definitely gonna use that all right cool question number five what's one college arena or professional arena that you would love to play in the Staples Center. Ah, okay. Staples Center, yeah, of course. Right, the, ha the house that Kobe built. But we also could call, I think we call it the Crypt now. We got to go with the Crypt now because the Crypto, buy, they paid a lot of money be call it, to call it the Crypt. But yeah, I could definitely see you there. I hope you get a chance to play there one day. All right, now question number six. If you could play any sport other than basketball, what would it be? Got to go with volleyball. Volleyball. Do you play, do you play volleyball too? Nope. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Well, hey, college, <laughs> colleges, we got a dual athlete here. She's ready. Okay. That's awesome. Question number seven. Now you're playing on a, in a three on three game, right? So it's you. I want you to pick one current NBA player and then one current WNBA player that you put on a team to go against anybody that's at the park. Who would it be? Okay. I got to go with Jason Tatum. Got to okay. go with Jason Tatum. And of course, Chicago Sky legend, Candice Parker. Oh man, yeah, that there would be awesome. I, I don't see, I don't see anybody being able to play with you, with you guys, with JT and CP, uh, CP Candice Parker, man. That's an awesome squad. Our right, number eight, we kind of talked about it a little bit, but what's your favorite subject in school? And then maybe tell me a career path that you're willing to, or you're interested in going into after you're done playing basketball. Um, probably English language arts, ELA. Okay. Yeah, I like, I like to go with, like, um, kind of, 
Like, <laughs> I don't know. I just don't have anything else besides basketball in my life. All right. All right. Well, hey, uh, it's, it's very possible that basketball can show you and lead you into your next fast, uh, your, your, your next uh, pathway, maybe into sports casting like Candace, right? Candace went to sports casting after she was after when she's not playing ball. So I definitely can see that because you're doing an awesome job with this interview. Question number nine. Do you have a favorite sports drink or is it water? Go with Gatorade. Gatorade. Any particular color or flavor? Two punch. Ah, nice, nice. Can't go wrong with the classic Gatorade. All right, now question number 10 is easy. What's your favorite sports media outlet that you just did a killer interview with? Next Gen. Next Gen. <laughs> Next Gen. Hey. Next Gen. Well, hey, Princess, a.k.a. Talitha Kuhn, it has been so awesome to have you with us. Thank you for buying out the time to come talk with us. We're going to definitely continue to follow you and your teams, even here from the mainland. And awesome. Uh, we look forward to speaking with you again and continuing to highlight your awesomeness, both on the court and off the court. All right. Thank you so much for having right. me. Hey, hello.